So right now, we're in Gyeongbokgung. It's a palace. And Gyeongbokgung means palace in Korean. And this palace is called Gyeongbokgung. And it's massive. So I really didn't know where to start recording this, but I thought I'd do it now. Um, and right now, I'm wearing the traditional Korean uh, clothing called Hanbok. The blue I'm wearing right now with the silver, it's what the princess wore. Uh, prince is Seja in Korean. Um, the, king, the king would wear red and gold, whereas the prince would wear blue and silver. Thankfully this morning is a bit cooler than yesterday's weather. Yesterday was 30 degrees and right now it's about 11, just past 11 a.m. and um, not too hot thankfully so far, although I am sweating all over inside. Um, I'll show you. The pants look like this and there's another inner layer top which is um kind of looks like that. Not the best view, but it is what it is. So you'll notice that um, when I was at Chunju Hanok Mao, the uh, village with the Korean traditional houses in the city of Chunju, which is my other video, you'll notice the similar um, design in these um, fences, tour them. This right behind me is Gyeongboku where I was just in and filming, but right across the road and over there, right down there, you see the blue roof in front of the mountain. That's called Changwade, which means blue house. It's similar to the US's White House and that would be where the president should live and lived. The past presidents all lived in there. <laughs> so this here is called Gyeongheru. Gyeongheru. And this was used for royal banquets, entertainment, uh, parties. And this Ponji Sea is man made and it was used by the royalty for boating. And as you can see, there's a lovely mountain view that they would have enjoyed back in the day. And this palace was still in use up until just over a hundred years. And very fortunate that it's been reconstructed, preserved. For us to come in and enjoy and walk around and imagine what it was like <laughs> to live in that era. But for your information, um, this Gyeongbokgung Palace was originally established in 1395. So this hall right now you see is called Sujangchan. Sujangchan, and this was where the Korean language Hangul was created. It was by uh, Sejong Dewang, King Sejong, and that was between. I have a um, little hand out here with all the facts. Fourteen eighteen between fourteen eighteen and fourteen fifty. That was where King Sejong created the Korean Hangul uh, writing alphabet system. So this is Gunjongcheon. Sorry. <laughs> and this would be where the uh, king, the ruler, and his government would um, handle state affairs. Mm. 
and this was built to symbolize the sovereignty, sovereignty of uh, rulers, of the kings, of the Joseon era. So Joseon uh, dynasty would have been when this palace was built and mainly used, which started back in 800 years ago, uh, give or take a little bit less. And the view this way is quite interesting as well because you get, of course, the past in front and then the future behind uh, the city of Seoul. So we are still in Seoul. Gyeongbokgung uh, is in Seoul. Seoul. And that is Gungjeonjeon. Gungjeonjeon. It's, it's, it's quite um, surprisingly tough going back from saying English uh, words to Korean words because, you know, there's a different accent with each language and uh, when I go back to Korean, I say it in an English accent sometimes and I speak English with a Korean accent sometimes, I think. Just weird. But... That was the entrance. Um, a bit further down, and I forgot to mention the meaning of um, the palace, Gyeongbokgu. Gyeongbok means uh, brilliance and fortune. So it was named Gyeongbokgu. Um, so fortune would be brought to the king and the nation. Oh, and, and also, see these tiles. I actually didn't know this until today. My mom told me, apparently the tile, tiles are very wide and big because this is where the kings would have walked. big white tiles for the kings to walk on so here I'm seeing lots of people from around the world tour groups uh, tourists as we saw lots of Americans before but um, we met some a couple people from Turkey Istanbul and got some, they um, asked if I could um, grab a photo with them because I was in this outfit. But anyway, um, yeah, this is, if you can only visit one place in Korea, um, Gyeongbokgung would be the place. So you get a true historical feel of this country, of South Korea. And marvel at its architecture, at its past, and enjoy the breeze. <laughs> yeah, this is the place to come. I recommend it. If, you, if you're planning a trip to South Korea, Gyeongbokgu. Yes. After spraining my ankle, walking down the stairs, I'm here. This is Donggung, or the East Palace. Um, these doors, right, they must come down and shut, which is quite impressive for this, for olden day architecture, yes. But this is Tonggung, and this is actually I should have um, um I should have given you a front view first. Tonggung means East Palace, and this belongs to me. Seja, it belongs to the Seja, the prince, um, and I'm wearing um, 
what the prince would have worn back in the days. So Tonggung, this whole area is Tonggung, uh, the East Palace, and it's it's called Tonggung East Palace because the prince was regarded as the rising sun, hence why it was um, built on the east of the king's palace. The sun rises from the east, the prince is known as the rising sun, and Tonggung, which means East Palace, is built on the east of king's palace. Easy, right? Makes sense. And um, this area wasn't just a residential area for the crown prince, it was also used for educational uh, protocol and state affairs for the prince himself. This is so fun. This might be my last video in Korea, we'll see. But I hope this has been a joy to watch. I hope it's been engaging, fun, but most of all, you've learned something about Korea. And if you did, please leave it in the comments because I'd love to know. I find every comment encouraging. So uh, if you did follow my journey along, if you watched any video, please let me know what you learned. And I hope um, I've been able to share lots or anything about Korea to you. So thank you for coming along with me. See you soon.